All right, guys, I just wanted to give you a couple quick tips on programming a used PCM for a Chrysler using the YTEC 2. And I really wanted to focus on a scan tool function. It's called Vehicle Configuration Reset. And this function, of course, is done with the YTEC 2. So I recently went out to program a used module uh, for a 2012 Dodge Caravan. And this is Chrysler's configuration report. And a lot of times I'll just look at this report uh, before I do anything. And as you can see, this is our original PCM here. This is our flash part number, 470AD. This is the current VIN, original VIN. And all these VINs here pretty much match up. We can see the PCM was never replaced before. So we have our used module. I wanted to just look at the used module and just compare the configuration settings in the PCM. So if we go down here, and I only wanted to compare this, these configuration settings just to be nosy. That's the only reason why. So our configuration settings, here they are. Anyway, these were all pretty much the same. But if we go back up, we can see this PCM is... So the YTEC is uh, identifying this PCM with another VIN number, as it should. Okay, that's not a surprise, is it? Now, we also can look at our current VIN for occupant uh, rest restraint uh, controller here. And it now has the same VIN as the used module we just put in there. And we got to say, that's a little weird. Um, so... The way I normally program these is I put the original PCM into the vehicle and I basically transfer all that information over using the YTEC. So at that point, that's what I wanted to do. So when I put the original PCM back in the vehicle, we were still left with all of these VIN numbers from the used module inside. So now the YTEC thinks that it's got the used VIN number already, and the, all, the, all the other modules are reporting a different VIN number now. But we have the original module in here. What's going on? And what is happening right now is this is a, a thing that Chrysler's been doing for a while. If you put a used module inside of a Chrysler, the vehicle will configure to that wrong mm -hmm. module, even if you put the original module back in it automatically configures and at this point you got to say well what the hell do I do now all these other modules are reading the wrong VIN and the answer is pretty simple what you would want to do is a vehicle configuration restore this is a function of the YTEC 2 you will need a tech authority subscription to use it I'm not trying to sell you this in any way I'm just letting you know the function it is very useful now, I have heard on some of the older Chryslers, uh, back in the DRB3 uh, days, if you were to go swap out an instrument cluster or whatever module, and then swap it back with the original car for whatever purpose, diagnostic purposes, that vehicle can configure to that used module, even though you put the old module back in it. And that's a similar case of what we're looking at right here. Uh, back in those days, from what I heard from other people on IATN, is you're screwed. You now have to go and replace all of those modules, supposedly. Uh, I've never came across it myself. But luckily, there is a vehicle, um, restore vehicle configuration. So I did that, and everything went back to the normal configurations. I set the module up. I transferred all the information into use one. And we look pretty good at first. And as you can see here, here is our configuration to the used module after it was programmed correctly. We can come over here to our PCM. We can see the, new, the used module PCM has the old VIN, it, VIN inside of it, 2196. And then we can see the original VIN has its 4478, which it's supposed to read. Uh, our C module, our HVAC module is now reading the correct VIN. So at this point, uh, we, we did our VIN right. We did our SRI information, which is the mileage. We wrote that, and we transferred our secret key code information. Okay. 
Um, but in certain cases, you're going to be left with a security light that's flashing, and you may have a fault code that's going to be a VIN mismatch or original VIN missing in the wireless control module. And you can even try to write this VIN number in the wireless control module like I did with the Autel 508, which is a key programmer. And I still could not get rid of that VIN mismatch in the wireless control module and fault code. So the answer to this is going to be another vehicle, uh, restore vehicle configuration. This is a common issue when using the used module on a Chrysler because they get a little bit a little bit confused. Okay, so this is basically going to be the second scenario where restoring the vehicle configuration settings is gonna save the day once again uh, once I did that I was able to start the vehicle the wireless control module was happy um, so yeah those are the two scenarios where you're gonna use that function on the Y-Tech too and uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video